Hello, my name is Josh, and today I'm going to be showing you a basic tutorial on how to set up and start a basic landform in the Crisis Sandbox Editor. So to start, I'm going to show you where to actually download the editor. So you're going to take your Crisis CD, and you're going to put it in your disk drive, and you may get something like this. If you do, you can just click the Open Folder to View Files option. If you don't get that, however, you can just go to My Computer, and open up the disk there. Once you do that, you're going to find the Sandbox 2 folder, open that up, and you're going to see the CryEngine in this folder. You're going to run that, and after you run this, running this will be installing the Sandbox editor. And after you install that completely, I have it already installed, so I'm not going to do that, you're going to go to whatever hard drive you downloaded it in, open that up, go to the program files, and you're going to look for Electronic Arts. You're going to open that up, open up Crytek, open up Crisis, and you're either going to open up bin 32 here or bin 64. Depending on which one you open depends on what bit you're running on your computer. I'm running 64-bit, so I'll open bin 64. You're going to look through here and find the editor. This is what the editor looks like, and once you find it, you're going to open that up. Now, seeing as you just installed it, it's going to take a while sometimes to first open up, especially if you don't have a very good computer. Even after the first time, it still takes a while sometimes to put everything in. So to save time, I already had it opened up. Once you have it opened up, you're going to notice you have a gray screen. Now to fix that, you're going to go to File, hit New, and then you're going to name your level. I'm going to name this My New map. You can hit your uh, select your height map resolution and how many meters per unit and then OK. Once you do that it'll load a second and then it'll generate a map. Now as you can see this is still just a gray and black screen but that's the base of where your map will be. After that you go back to file you look down and you hit generate surface texture. Once again you can uh, pick your uh, texture dimensions, you can pick the resolution. If you have a very good computer you can go to the max resolution and you can do high quality. If not however I, I recommend you stay pretty low in the resolution options. After that you just do OK and you wait for it to load, it'll take a minute because it has to put all this in you can see it's taking a minute right now and it'll load down here once this loads you'll have a basic map and it'll have water on it just water, no textures or anything or no land masses and after this loads, that's what I'm going to be showing you is how to put in the land masses alright, so once you have that open or once that finishes loading, you'll notice that now you have a map with water. That's pretty much all you have, is a giant lot of water. So to fill this vacant lot, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the tab, you're going to go to Terrain, and you're going to do Edit Terrain, and then you can do, you can pick your brush size, and you can just draw in land masses. You can do any shape really, and the longer you hold it, you'll, you can tell the color becomes more white. That is the mountains that you're drawing. So you can do pretty much any size that you want. Make your map. Now, later on, when you're trying to make a map seem more realistic, you might want to add more realistic shapes to your islands and things like that. But for this, this is just showing you how to get it in there. And you can progress later on making realistic maps and realistic islands. So after you do that, you just hit OK, wait for that to load, and you have land. And now you can see that some of this may not look very realistic, so you can go back into Terrain, you can do Edit Terrain, you can go to Modify, look down this list, and you'll see an option called Noise. Click Noise, and click OK.
Now once this loads, you'll see that now you might have to go back and edit some of this to make the land higher because it lowered it a lot. But this does make it look a lot more realistic, and you can always go back in and make your mountains higher and things like that. Now if you want to edit it close to the ground and make small changes or even large changes close to the ground, you can come up here to the roll-up bar, go to terrain, and you can go to modify, and then you can use these. This is the radius of the circle that you're going to be using. You can have an inside radius if you want. I don't prefer to. And you can set the hardness on how much it will affect it. And you can do flatten, smooth, raise, or lower. So you set your radius. You can raise and lower land. Now you turn up your hardness, and it will make it go up a lot more. You can also turn up your height, which can really make it shoot up fast. So you got to be careful sometimes when you, when you use this, because it can, uh, it can really affect things. So you can do that, and if you want to smooth some things out, you turn up the radius, turn up the hardness, and it smooths it out. This will smooth out the land to pretty much what else is around it, and it'll make it look a lot neater. So say when you have this, it looks kind of blocky throughout all this, you can take your icon, move it all around the islands, and you can smooth it out to make it look more like the edging of a beach, more realistic. You can also do flatten, where you just flatten it all back out. And my name is Josh, and I just showed you a basic tutorial on how to download the Crisis Sandbox Editor, how to get in and create some land masses. Thank you, and have a nice day.